Hey guys, hold on, before I start recording, girl, my camera's dying. So I was on the phone with my sister, she asked me a question and she was just like, hey, like, you know, how do you stay so unbothered? And I was like, what do you mean <laughs> by being unbothered? She was just like, you know, you've always been really confident. You've always had a strong self-esteem and you know, you never let what people say get to you. How do you stay so cheery all the time? How do you stay so happy? So I was like, you know what? Why not make a YouTube video about it? Basically talking about how I stay unbothered, how I keep my mind out of what everybody else is doing, how I stay focused, how I let what people say to me basically roll off my back and remain a bad bitch. You guys helped me, you guys watch my channel. So I was like, you know what, why not come and just give you guys some tips to just help you guys on your journey, you know, along your life. If you guys are struggling with having what people say to you in your life really affects you, then definitely you're in the right spot because we're the no fucks given zone here at Julia Beauty. And yes, sis, so let's get into the tips that's gonna help you remain unbothered with no <laughs> given, period. So first thing first, stop making comparisons. Says, You're not them, they're not you, period. It's your life, yours. <laughs> so why are you comparing yourself to others when it's your life? On social media, we see these people with these lavish lives, you know, going on vacations and doing these amazing, amazing things. But you guys, we don't really know the behind the scenes or the backstory or what it even took for them in their life to even live the life that they wanna live. You get what I'm saying? So again, you guys, stop comparing. Please stop the comparisons. So stop comparing yourself to social media and really letting the things that you see affect the way you think about your own self. That's the point that I'm really trying to get at. If this becomes a problem or if it's a distraction, then literally you want to limit the time that you're on social media to just take out the temptation altogether. What I like to do is I set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes and I'm literally engaging, commenting, scrolling to my heart's content for the 10 minutes because once it's up, sis, that's it. It's the wrap. My phone is down and I'm back focusing on myself, focusing on the things that I need to do. Focusing on recording videos for y'all because y'all already know y'all want to see me here on a constant basis, okay? Focusing on other people's lives, literally, you can literally spend that time focusing on your own life, getting your shit together, okay? Living out your dreams. What are your dreams? Want to write them down on a piece of paper. And that brings me to my next step, number two. You definitely want to write down a clear vision of your life, where you see your life at. Um, if you guys didn't like me, then I'm a goal setter. I like to see my goals on paper. I like to write every single thing out because to me, it literally just gives me a reason to keep going. You know, I like to see everything mapped out because it's like a challenge to me. It's like a challenge. Like, let me see what I could really achieve. You know, how can I push myself? How can I get to my full potential, you know, how do I achieve to my max potential to be the person that I truly want to be? If I'm focused on other people or if I'm in social media, I definitely limit my social media, you guys, to 10 minutes a day. That is it. Literally, I promise you, the more you get off of social media, the more you realize you don't really miss it that much. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are three hours. I don't know if it's eight hours. But again, if it's that much time that you're spending on social media, then I would definitely reevaluate your goals and the things that you wanna do in your life because sis, you're not gonna really achieve your goals scrolling on social media every day, watching everybody else live out their goals. Does that make sense? So you know, uh-uh, sis. Now, that's not how you stay unbothered, being connected to see what everybody else is doing. No, sis. If you really wanna have extreme focus and extreme motivation and passion in your life, then that takes sacrifice, you guys. It literally takes sacrifice to get to your dreams. So if you want real change in your life and you want to see significant change and growth in your life and growth as a person in your life, then you have to do some different things. I know a lot of us are scrolling on social media right now. That's how you even ended up at this video, sis, but it's okay. But it's okay because that brings us into our next tip. My next tip, number three, is definitely birds of a feather flock together. If you guys really care about what other people have to say and that really stops you from doing the things that you want to do in your life, or if you're that person that can't buy, I know these people, if you're that person that cannot buy a piece of clothing without calling everybody on your call list, then that means, sis, you kind of care what people think more than what you think. You get what I'm saying? So if it's to the point where you care so much what everybody else has to say about your life and that's not letting you live out your full potential, you definitely want to take self-care very serious. You want to surround yourself with nothing 
but self-help books. You want to read books. You want to watch YouTube videos like this one. You guys definitely want to surround yourself with friends, family members, anybody that literally probably listens to you and that you have a genuine connection with who just knows you, who you are. Because typically, those are the people that we probably only have one or two people, honestly, in our lives who would really listen to us that we can talk to. So I would surround myself more with those people. I would surround myself literally with nothing but content that's going to help me in the right direction in my life. That's going to help me not give no fucks about what nobody else has to say about me. That's going to help me. You know, when I see a comment on a picture, it's going to brush off because these people don't know you, you guys. That's tip number four. They don't know you and you don't know them. These people are seeing you for a millisecond and they're giving their unwarranted opinion. Opinions are for everybody. We all have them. And they're okay. If somebody thinks differently than what I think, or if somebody has a different opinion than what I have, I'm like, okay, as long as you're respectful, cool, sis. We don't have issues. You run your social media in whatever way you see fit, period. So if you want to turn off comments, if you want to, listen, not have engagement on those photos and things like that, then you can, you know? Listen, it's your personal journey. If you're only doing 10 minutes of social media, then chances are you're really not even going to care about what somebody said on your video. Typically, 10 times out of 10, a lot of people are miserable at home, you guys. This is just the world that we live in today. A lot of people are miserable and, you know, they don't have an outlet. So what if that's their way of, you know, putting you down, making them feel better about themselves? That's really not sustainable and that's not a you problem. It's a them thing. You get what I'm saying? So don't make their problems yours at the end of the day. Don't let what somebody else who's miserable, who probably never leaves the couch, never leaves their bed, you know, severely depressed, why are you letting what they say, a troll, affect you? If you're happy, you want to spread your light, sis, then spread your light, spread your wings. You get what I'm saying? The world needs people like you. The world needs you guys because without all of us, without our creativity and all of our good ideas just flowing out into the world, then what does this all mean? Why are you even watching this video? Why are you even trying to get your life together? Why are you even trying to get your shit together, bitch? Stop engaging in content that doesn't have a positive result behind it. You get what I'm saying? So if the comment is not positive, listen, you can just delete it and that is just it. But words are wind. Their wind. You know, words are something that literally cannot hurt anyone physically, but they hurt so many people. Like, you get what I'm saying? Words have so much power and I understand that, you know? So if you limit the time that you have on social media, if you focus on your goals, if you write them down, literally, you guys, if you're focused on yourself, you don't even have time to care what anybody else has to say. Literally, because you're so focused on yourself, getting your life together and the things that you need to do done, period. And listen, honey, if you're liking this video right now or if I'm saying anything that resonates with you, then definitely like this video. That's gonna let me know that you guys like this type of content. You guys like these talks. You guys like me in your face screaming on this camera you cannot care about what others think more than what you think about yourself and that's how I think about it I think about okay this person this is their opinion of me this is someone who doesn't know me right I'm not gonna take what they say about me oh you're ugly let's say that you're ugly I know I'm not ugly <laughs> bitch my DMs say I'm not ugly okay genetics say I'm not ugly you only live one life only one, right? So with that one life, you have to make it as much as you possibly can. You have to literally share as much as you can. You have to love as much as you can. You have to experience as much as you can in that one lifetime. Because again, you guys, you only get one. So with that one lifetime, why would you care what other people say? How I look at things is, if it's gonna make me happy, why would I care if it's gonna make somebody sad? If I'm not doing anything wrong or that has nothing to do with anybody else, and this is genuinely gonna help me as a person and help me grow and help me have a strong mindset to where I don't care what other people think about me, then why would I care? Why would I let somebody else's opinion be more bigger than my own? Like, that makes no sense to me. I know we do it all the time. I'm victim to it. I know you guys are victim to it. But listen, sis, 2020, we're breaking our mindset. We're following our goals. We're focused on the things that we need to focus on, sis. And we're getting a bag. Listen, sis, we're getting the bag on Julia Beauty, period. Focus on yourself. You focus on the things that matter. You focus on the things that make you happy. That is just it, you guys. Focus on the things that make you happy. Log out of YouTube right now and literally my life is going to continue. <laughs>
And that's the power of social media. We can literally dial out and our life is still gonna continue. This is not real life. This is only a version of what people want you to see. And that's the beauty of social media. You can be anybody. You can turn on the camera and you can be anybody that you wanna be. So always think about that, you guys. You can turn on a camera. You can always take a picture. You can upload on Instagram and literally be anyone that you want to be. Who says you can't? Exactly. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe, join the fam. If you guys want more self-help videos like this, if you want to get your shit together, if you want to be so unbothered, no fucks given at all times, sis, then you're at the right place to be. So again, you guys, thank you guys so much for the love, for the support, for the views. I love you guys more than you know. Air hugs until the next video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.